producing one starship every day. That's the goal behind spending another $100 million to build a million square foot five-story production facility that also includes a corporate office building, parking deck, recreation center, and restaurant besides Starbase. The old tents were used for making steel ring segments and storing raptors before they were put together. And the new Star Factory building will take over all the major tasks with an unbelievably improved efficiency. It's been months in the making, but it's still not up and running. Aren't you curious to see what's going on, what's inside, and what it's all about? Honestly, until June 2024, we had no way of knowing anything about it. But on June 22nd, Elon Musk gave us an exciting glimpse into the groundbreaking features of this new system. That day, Tim Dodd from Everyday Astronaut took us on an exclusive tour and sat down for an interview with Elon Musk at Starbase. This was our first chance to step inside Star Factory and check out its incredible innovations. So in this video, we're diving into Star Factory, the most impressive rocket production facility ever built on Earth. But before that, to understand exactly how we ended up here, let's rewind a bit to when SpaceX first set up shop in Boca Chica Village about 10 years ago. Back then, the place was pretty much just sand, water, grass, and a few old bungalow houses. It wasn't exactly a space age headquarters, but things quickly started to change. Initially, they used tents, basically giant temporary structures to start the building process. These tents evolved into more robust structures and eventually they moved to vertical shelters designed to keep the rockets from toppling over with the wind. From these humble beginnings, SpaceX's site grew from something that looked like a flying water tank to a genuine rocket assembly area complete with rockets that could actually fly. Sure, some of the flights ended in fiery explosions, but they were all part of the learning process. Fast forward to recent developments, SpaceX is now focused on scaling up its operations. SpaceX is rapidly constructing a permanent facility designed to be a major manufacturing hub for their Starship rockets. This new setup is a crucial part of SpaceX's ambitious plans to eventually colonize Mars. Back in 2022, SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell set a bold goal to build a new Starship upper stage every day. This is too bold to imagine even for now. By 20 2023, she envisioned launching dozens, if not hundreds, of starships daily. To achieve this, the teams at Starbase are working on mastering the mass production of orbital rockets, a feat that's never been attempted before. At Starbase, SpaceX has been busy setting up a series of vertical assembly buildings, starting with the low bay, then the mid bay, and the high bay. The last addition was the mega bay. The goal of this new facility is to focus on assembling the rocket stage by stacking prefabricated ring sections and welding them together. The Mega Bay is specifically designed to handle the assembly of both the orbital ship stages and the massive super heavy boosters, making it a key player in SpaceX's goal of ramping up rocket production to unprecedented levels. And then came the Star Factory. It's truly a marvel of modern design, embodying the sleek cutting edge style that SpaceX is known for. As you step inside, you're immediately struck by its sheer scale and minimalist elegance. Although everything isn't fully set up yet, the space is already making a significant impression. The building's flat roof adds to its impressive height of 18 meters, making it feel even grander than the production tents. Kate Tai, SpaceX's quality systems engineering manager, once expressed her awe during a tour of the production tent, saying that, the moment you step into this factory, it is truly inspiring. And let me tell you, she wasn't extrapolating even a bit. One of the most eye-catching features you can notice is the nose cones for the Starship rockets, which were covered in a distinctive black coating with small dots. This indicates they're still being worked on probably as they adjust the heat shield attachment pins. Elon Musk has mentioned that SpaceX plans to shift from Starship version 
version one to version two this year. So we might have been looking at the nose cone for the first version two rocket. They also spotted several rings within the factory, which could be parts of the new Starship version. These rings look similar to those seen outside the factory, suggesting that components for the next prototype are being assembled. Another highlight was seeing the Starship's header tank displayed prominently on a giant stand, adding to the excitement of witnessing SpaceX's groundbreaking innovations firsthand. You might be wondering when this amazing facility will be fully operational. Musk revealed that the SpaceX team is currently wrapping up both the exterior and interior work, so they expect it to take about a couple of more months to get everything equipped and running, but no exact date yet. Maybe it could be running by October. But Musk also hinted at the potential for future expansion to the south of the production site, which would provide even more space for their revolutionary production systems. Previously, Jesse Anderson, SpaceX's Falcon Structures manufacturing engineering manager, mentioned that the latest phase of the factory, which is under construction, is adding several hundred thousand more square feet of space. Everything is rapidly coming together, and it's thrilling to see new prototype parts emerging. Now we will explore some impressive features of the Star Factory. For starters, the new facility is enormous, boasting a total area of 60,000 square meters. The design includes a flat roof that maximizes the internal space, providing a spacious and efficient workspace. This is a major upgrade from the old production tent, which was open and susceptible to weather conditions, mud, and stray animals. With the Star Factory's closed structure, everything inside remains pristine, no matter what's happening outside. Unlike the previous setup, where different systems were housed in separate tents, one for the engine, one for the rings, and another for the nose cone, Star Factory integrated all these elements into a single, cohesive unit. This new approach means there's no more shuffling between different structures, which streamlines the production process and boosts overall efficiency. Musk elaborated on this transformation, explaining that the new system introduces a continuous production line. This setup creates a smooth working rhythm with stations arranged in a linear flow. Each station has its specific task, but they are all interconnected, allowing for a seamless transition of work from one station to the next. This setup ensures that problems are identified and addressed on the spot, eliminating the delays caused by moving between separate structures. The result is a more efficient and responsive production process. So what exactly does this mean for Starship, you might ask? The impact will be significant. Musk himself revealed some impressive goals. SpaceX aims to produce a Starship every three days, translating to over 100 ships a year in the near future. Although Musk didn't specifically mention Super Heavy, it's likely that its production rate will match or even exceed that of Starship. This remarkable capability marks a major leap forward in SpaceX's manufacturing process. Looking ahead, Elon Musk has always had big dreams for SpaceX's production capabilities. He previously talked about ramping up to 300 ships a year, which was already impressive, but recently he's upped the expectation even more. Musk now envisions producing up to 1,000 ships annually. Just think about that, going from making a ship every three days to churning out three ships daily. If it happens, we will be like a part of science fiction. When you compare this to the time it takes NASA, Blue Origin, or ULA to build their prototypes like the SLS, New Glenn, or Vulcan, which can take years, the scale of Musk's goal is truly extraordinary. But that's not all. Along with ramping up ship production, SpaceX's engine production is set to skyrocket as well. Right now, they're cranking out one Raptor engine a day. However, Musk recently hinted at an even bigger leap. This next-gen Raptor, potentially Raptor 3, is expected to significantly boost production rates. With the Star Factory in the mix, we can expect an even faster production rate for these engines. The new Starship version in Florida is set to include up to 35 engines in the Super Heavy Booster and 9 engines in the ship itself, creating a huge demand for these engines. The new engine design is simpler, which speeds up production and enhances reliability. 
Coupled with Star Factory's continuous production and automation, Musk's ambitious production speed suddenly seems very plausible. But how would Star Factory help SpaceX to multiply its production rate? You see, initially, the Starbase manufacturing process used three long tents as production lines. Now, those tents have been replaced by permanent factory structures, which is a bit like what Tesla did with their giant tents for Model 3 and Model Y production. The manufacturing process at SpaceX starts with big rolls of 304L stainless steel. These rolls are cut to size, shaped into rings, and welded to form the straight parts of the ship and booster. For the curved parts, like the nose cone and interior domes, SpaceX uses stamped and stretch-formed stainless steel panels, which are then welded together. The original setup with the three tents allowed different sections of the Starship to be made at the same time, one tent for Raptor engine another for ring sections and domes, and the third for nose cones. This arrangement meant that key parts of the ship and booster could be made simultaneously on the ground and then assembled together in the mega bay. Although it's likely that SpaceX is still using a similar process in the new Star Factory building, the solid walls of the factory make it harder to see what's going on inside. As we already mentioned, the Star Factory itself is massive. This expanded space provides a continuous production floor offering two to three times more covered floor area and more vertical space compared to the old tents. Overall, the new factory will give SpaceX about five times more production space than the original three tents combined. This huge production capacity is essential for SpaceX's ambitious plans such as replacing the Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Dragon Capsule, becoming a key player in NASA's Artemis moon missions, and even establishing a self-sustaining city on Mars. Did I just exaggerate? I guess not. What do you think? And what aspect of the factory fascinated you the most? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more exclusive content from the forefront of space technology. See you in the next video.